Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Road Rebel S2. I just finished Fume Shaft Zone and now I am uh, en route to Lift Off Gantry. This is honestly one of my favourite uh, zones in this level pack. Not that there are any that I particularly dislike apart from Drown Downtown. And that one wasn't really as bad as I remember. Uh, as, as it says, Robonic's launching rockets from his rocket base to some other planet is invaded. Um, and he's launching a supply ship over there now. So we are going to somehow uh, get on board without being detected. Uh, somehow I very much doubt we will get on undetected because it's a robotic. He would have alarms and things. He's not an idiot. But uh, never mind that. Oh, there's an Armageddon shield up there. I never noticed that before. That uh, would be at least somewhat useful, but never mind. Yeah, most some of this level takes place in sort of like that outside area. Uh, sort of in the facility outskirts, and the rest of it takes place inside. And this level is uh, a fair bit trickier uh, than Fume Shaft. Um, the difficulty level is uh, starting to crank up a little now. Um, the level length uh, starts to go right up as well, uh, as you'll see. But uh, it's cool. It's a really, really awesome zone, so you know I'm not going to complain about it too much. Also, we get these orbital enemies. Uh, the, they only move when you move, which is pretty cool. Although I did try to avoid one there and fail at it dismally. Now then, we are... Once again on the outside, there's a thing over there. I was close, I nearly yeah. didn't make it. But I have a lightning shield in tow now, so delicious. Right then, so there's a bunch of like really, really cool things on this level. Like for example, this power switch, which we click. And it powers what looks like a gun, based on the uh, picture. Head up the side of the cliff, and here is a garden. We uh, click it. And it will do this. Lays a hole in the facility for us, which is uh, very nice of it. And down we go into the facility proper, I believe. Or actually, no, I think we're still inside of the sort of scaffolding construction area currently. Now I'm probably going to lose my shield here because this part's a pain in the ass. Oh, or not, because I'm a boss. Actually, no, I'll probably lose just one of these stupid things now. Do not like them. Some enemy uh, over in the distance is just uh, sulking and dying, it's killing itself. Are there any more of those things for me to avoid? No, but there's those. Luckily, they only shoot in a straight, straight line. They're like um, the gun jetty sins, except they uh, don't float up and down and don't really move much. Uh, I much prefer them as enemies. Now then, sort of on a weird inside bit, let's have a look this way first. I wonder if we can go in this pipe. Nope. But it is leaking out like oil or something. Which is pretty cool. Uh, now, presumably, I have to go in here. Which means I'm going to lose the shield. But never mind. Oh, I remember this part. This part is... No, wait, no, 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 I don't. I'm remembering it incorrectly. Uh, where do I have to go? Ah. It's really just me being dumb. That was cool. And now we are... Once again, inside the facility, and that's one of those stupid robots that's going to come and ram me. I'm going to lose all my rings. Uh, am I up top and safe? Yes. Right then. Let's grab a uh, green monitor first. Grab a delicious. Ooh, delicious green man. And then, was there a... No, there's only this top route. Okay. I don't remember this. I must have gone a different way last time. Oh well, never mind. Right then, now we are indeed in the facility proper. Oh no, no we're not. Her. I keep getting confused and thinking this is like a base and not a um, construction site. We are uh, ascending the scaffolding here. One thing I do remember about this uh, part of the level is uh, way, way over somewhere in a direction there is Sonic's emblem. It's in this general area. If I remember rightly you have to do something like jump like mostly more or less leap of faith but I honestly don't remember where it is so I'm not gonna get it. Oh whoops I didn't mean to run into that guy but oh well. Get to go through this nice pipe. Uh, it's actually going to wind around some of the outer... Oh, no, it's not. Different pipe for that, perhaps. Uh, hello, Mr. Orbanaut. 
Yeah, this might be the pipe I was thinking about. It's yeah, there was Sonic's emblem. You saw it on top of the pipe um, very briefly. It's winding. We're going through some of the sections we just passed through, except in a uh, glass pipe around the top of the area to take us to a new place. So now where are we? We are inside the buildings once again. Oh, this part's quite cool. I like this part. That's kind of a pain in the ass to dodge these lasers. Uh, can I squeeze through? No, I'm going to get hit. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not entirely sure how I dodged that, but I'm not complaining. And on the other side. Now, where do we go from here? Up a lift? And now where? Oh, well, there's some more not. Time to uh, get past those. And a laser hallway. Which I already know has a guy shooting down the middle of it, so I'll just leave him. Oh, and this platform breaks and takes us down to the bottom. Uh, one one complaint I will make with this zone, um, although it's not strictly speaking, it doesn't strictly speaking apply to this zone as well as it does the next one, but uh, it needs more checkpoints. Uh, the next one in particular, though, as you'll see. Um, Although I will, I'll discuss some things about the next zone when I get there. Actually, but I actually—it's the most hated um, zone on this level pack. But I'm actually not—I'm uh, not, you know, particularly averse to it. It's very different to this one, though. But uh, as you can see, though, the level—I'm um, not uh, going particularly slowly. But the uh, time it's taking me to beat levels is really starting to. Uh, Rise. Oh, balls. I didn't think I should have really uh, waited there instead of trying to be too fast. Never mind. I've just squandered like 20k points. That would have been uh, most of the way to another life or so. But I'm nearing the tail end of the game now, so. Right, so we uh, rush off into this building. Hit this to uh, activate the lift. Uh, once it rises. Uh, this door starts to close, and on the other side is the end of the level. So that's Act 1 done. Now we need to lock into Act 2. Also, I could be wrong. Uh, I say I could be wrong. I'm fairly certain I'm not. But uh, this level has different music for each act. Also, I really, really want the uh, lift to go back down temporarily. So I'm going to jump on it to make it reset. So I want this Armageddon shield out of this line of uh, robotic monsters. Right then. Back up we go. This is, a, uh, this is a long level, but it's cool. I like it. Right. Uh, I think we get a choice of routes fairly soon. I could be wrong though. crash into me and me lose my shield if I'm not careful. Oh, that was close. I uh, nearly killed myself, I think, there. Now, if I can land up... Oh. I really wanted to stay that top route, never mind. I don't think it matters too much. Uh, no. Uh, by accident, I've just uh, locked my way up onto the top automatically, so... We get a cool office complex there that I'm going to just ignore. And got this lift. Which puts us in our first 2D section of Tortured Planet, if I remember correctly. Actually, I'm going to wait here a second, because I've just triggered that, and I wasn't prepared. Basically, you'll be able to see, kind of from the angle, the outer walls just rose. Uh, when that happens, you die. Basically, it's an airlock. And you have to get through here as quick as possible. Uh, it's not difficult. There we go, and clear. Now, I think I might crash into another one in a second if I'm not careful. Uh, no, 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 I remember. You can just get crushed by here on it uh, accidentally if you're not careful. Um, as I said in the SRB1 uh, remake video ages ago, uh, I honestly find controlling Sonic in 2D on this disconcerting because of um, how he accelerates. Uh, the more into the jump he is, it really just throws me off. 
Oh, that was lucky. Now, I think there's a free man down there, but I'm not going for it, because uh, I can't get it. Because I've tried before and it always kills me. Those are like the um, oil ocean zone things that throw you around. And then we have to do some 2D platforming. This is possibly my least favourite part of this zone, because I find him such a pain in the ass to steer in 2D. I'm nearly there, I think. Yep. I could just talk over, but I don't want to hit the Eggman monitor, so I'm not going to. Another uh, Armageddon shield there. And into this pipe we go. Now, I don't know if this will chuck me into a 2D or a 3D section. 3D section, now I remember. This uh, little office complex part is quite fun. First thing we have to do is to look here. Step on this. And get shrunk. And now we are tiny baby Sonic. So we must... Uh, these stairs are a pain in the ass to climb. Because they're uh, too big to just run up. Oops. But if you hold for... Oh. If you hold forward, you just sort of keep your momentum and you run against it. And I'm going to not drop, drop into the gap this time. And into this pipe. And in the centre here is this sort of cool circuit board thing that I don't know, I think actually does anything. And carry on through. Come out in this room. With uh, those big guys. And I don't think there's anything in there, in there other than stuff. So we'll just leave it. Now we're going to cross this room. I'm grateful that the uh, platforms in this area move a bit slower because you're tiny so your jump behaves a little differently but your acceleration is also seems to be way higher. It's a little um, confusing. And through here is this bike. We get dumped out here. And now we jump on the switch. And we're back in the starting room. Now, what we want is that door opened, but it hasn't opened yet. So what has opened is that door right there. Also, what's that in there? That looks like an extra life. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a pain in the ass, and I'm going to go make myself tiny. Again. Uh, purely so I can run in here and get that. Now... Had I stopped being tiny, I think I had. Which means I probably have to go through here again. Uh, actually, I don't know. I could probably... There's probably an easier way to get untiny than doing this now that I've already gone through it once, but I honestly don't know what it is. So... I'll just uh, toot on through. Uh, oh, oh, well. Well, I lost my shield, but I killed them all in the process, so... I have to uh, navigate this little room again. came out of this normal size. Yeah, I did. Okay, excellent. Then I hit that switch, came through to this section. Now, that's where I went initially. This door is now open. So I can just nip in here. Stop that guy. And there's another switch. Which I will get, and it will dump me back out into this room, and then it's just here on the right, where I want to go. And another life. Right. Now, this part is very similar to a part in another level, which was... I don't remember off the top of my head. It was our level that it was on. Come on, give me a platform going up. Please, 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 please. Shit, really? Oh my god, I have to do this entire section again. I did the life respawn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I should have waited there, but I thought I was going to be safe. I was wrong. Oh, the life did respawn. Well, I'll just re-get that. Right. And back to tootling through here. That's going to add a fair bit to the runtime for this level, unfortunately. This it shouldn't be uh, too long, though. It won't... Oh, Christ's sake. It won't be... Uh, Aerial Garden Zone, which I split into two videos, Acts 1 and 2, Starlight Palace, 
in the Sanctum in Act 3, and that took like 45 minutes for the whole thing, so that was a bit dreadful. Fuck that zone. Although I'm saying that, the Neo version of it in uh, there's an unlockable in SRB2 is actually really, really nice. So I heard that they're porting Mystic Realm to be compatible, properly compatible to update it sort of with um, all the new features that SRB2 has packed in over the years. So uh, maybe that will make it really good again. The level design can be improved and that sort of thing. That'd be lovely. Now I want to take a right. No, I want to go straight on. Stick out again. Hit the switch. Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot those guys are in there. Uh. Now this is the way I want to go this time. Now this time I want to not kill myself like a total idiot. Just right back a bit. lead to the same place. Uh, so I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I think they do actually. Now this room fills down on the lift. And we have... Oh, that door is locked. Presumably because I'm in single plane. It's a different character's route. But I have to click that to load the rocket fuel tanks. And it will then start to fill up with this green goo. Uh, presumably this is where I jump out. Ah, uh, I killed myself. Or maybe I don't have to uh, dart it quite, quite like I did there. I was a little afraid that it was going to just keep filling up and up and up. When I was testing this level on single player, that door on the left, uh, sorry, on a private multiplayer, that door was open so I could go that way and it was uh, very easy. But um, I was completely unable to stop going this way. Uh, because I goofed up once and then it was full of green goo forever and there was nothing I could do about it. So I had to uh, abandon going that way. Ah, I see. If I hadn't gone, um, if I hadn't filled that up, I would have um, just arrived on top of this anyway. So it just means I have to do a bit of additional platforming as Sonic. Uh, presumably as Knuckles as well, unless that was Knuckles' route the other way. I will never know. Oh, Christ's sake. Basically, I have to navigate around the rocket till I can find the way in. But once I get there, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the level, or if not, very close. Actually, no, it can't be. That there's another section I'm thinking of that's coming up with kind of a pain. Either way, I'm not too far away. Right. The end of the rocket I want is the other side. Like, yeah. Not, yeah. I see where I gotta go. I do just have to not fuck up some very, very basic platforming. Right, let's do this properly. Through here. Oh, Orbinol's on this one. Lovely. Yep, red springs here that will throw me up to the upper level. Yeah, that's where uh, the other route comes out up there, and then you just jump over to the right here, and jump into this rocket. Ride this platform up, and head on into here, which, yeah, this is the section I thought it was. We uh, get on this train, the train's now moving, cool. We run to the uh, top, and hit the stop button, and the train is now pulled into a station. And we toot loud, and we're in another 2D section. It's pretty cool. This one is uh, a little trickier than the previous one. Though that's mostly because there is a really, really quite difficult section. Um, but you can circumvent it if you know of the alternate route. 
which I do, so I'm going to circumvent it. But I will explain what it's like, because it's awful. Uh, at least I find it awful. So we have to... Actually, one thing I really like about the design there is they put that pipe in, so that if you sock or spin dash, uh, you can't just wind up underneath the crusher and be instantly killed. Which is a nice and thoughtful touch. Good game design! Uh, wait. Now, this conveyor there will throw me onto the route that I don't want to take. So I jump over it. I go up here. The route I don't want to take has a conveyor belt with pistons that come down and crush you and they're kind of a pain in the ass to dodge. So I don't go that way. So I will do just fine. And up we go again. There we go, the paths converge here as we go on in. And back to 3D for this lift. green teleporter. I think I'm nearing the end of the level here. But, uh, not quite yet. There are more challenges to put. Yeah, I am. This is the end of the level. The last section, even. It's a bunch of, uh, like, grabbable fence. Uh, uh, like, hangrails and stuff. You must navigate Sonic over. Uh, there are spikes on it as well. It's kind of slow to traverse, but it's not too bad, it's actually kind of uh, interesting at least. Now we get two routes here, uh, I'm going to go this way because I vaguely remember it's a bit easier but it has all the knots. I'd be pretty sweet if I could finish this in under 10, but I guess we'll see. I want to shoot over here, and there again, and there. Right, and this is it. This is the end. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? I fucking panicked because of the red thing and uh, went too fast. Right. Shit. Well, well, I suppose I haven't lost all that much. I think I went into this level, into this zone with 14 lives, so to have beaten the first two acts, and they're honestly really quite tough, and still have, and still have only lost two uh, net. That's honestly all, not all that bad. It means that I have plenty left for the actually difficult levels still to come. Right, here we are at the end again. So I'm not going to run over the edge like an idiot, and drop into here to ride this up. And our goal. There we go. Lift off gantry two done. No time bonus though, because I took it a billion years. Now we get to do lift off gantry three. An interesting boss because uh, it's very easy to break. Uh, in multiplayer, he tends to crash into the walls and get screwed and lost forever. Uh, in single player, if you hit him before he shoots, oh, I'm, yeah, I fell to the middle and died. <coughs> if you hit him before he shoots, uh, he bugs permanently. Well, I say permanently. You can fix it by dying. But yeah, basically, he keeps slashing and is never able to be hit again. And it's a bit of a pain in the ass. I really hope I didn't just bug him. Nope. All in all, those pretty easy boss. Neat, though. It's like, uh, I think he's based on the deep sea boss, so... Except with some purple. Well, I, th I think it's neat, at the very least. I think I've berserked him. Yeah, we're, unfortunately, when he's berserked, he just doesn't do any... Oh, shit. He doesn't do anything, I was about to say. Yep, there we go, beat him. Which means the platform will now stop. Just gonna get all these rings for fun. And done it in 59, so I get a nice little extra bit of time bonus on the side of all the rings. So, that has been Liftoff Gantry Zone. I will see you next time.